Hey everybody, it's Chugga Connor. I welcome back to more Okami. In the last episode, we got here to Seon City. We got here to this bridge and met Benkei, who told us that he needed the river to be restored or something like that before he could do anything. And in this episode, we're going to be talking to him now. You might notice that he has the blinding snow fishing rod that we bought in the last episode. Now, reason for that is that I started fishing with him and then I had to scrap the recording. So, you just have to talk to him a few times until he takes the blinding snow from you. It's all there is, really. You just have to play a typical fishing mini game. Uh, while we're playing this fishing mini game with him, I should show off. If you just draw a little dot on the tip of the fishing pole, you can make flowers pop out of it. It's kind of a little extra. But what we want to do is just draw a line to it. Now, um, I guess while we're doing this, I should explain uh, Ben K's place of mythology. He is from the same story uh, the Waka's character is from, uh, Yoshitsune, which is basically Robin Hood. Like I said, he's just like Little John. The way that this works is that, just like explained in the last episode, Benkei was a very skilled swordsman, had never been defeated in a duel. And just like in this game, he seeked to collect a thousand swords within his lifetime. Uh, which he did. He had never been defeated in a duel until he came across Yoshitsune, which is who Waka is based off of. He lost in a duel to Waka's character and swore allegiance to him. And he was given the job of being Waka's bar bodyguard. Uh, right here is the fish that we need to get, by the way. This is the cutlass fish, the living sword that he was looking for. And I guess just going further into the story, he was given the job of guarding Waka's house when Waka had finally been tracked down and his days were numbered. Uh, he was given the job of guarding Waka. He was able to basically fight off an entire army by himself. It was pretty cool. It's one of my more favorite stories, actually. And just like any other really, really tough fish, we have to do this multiple times, so... Um... Also, Ben K ends up dying a very honorable death. He dies standing on his feet, uh, protecting Waka, which I always thought was really cool. And come on, come on, come here, please, please, please. I don't want to do this very long, okay? I understand. Yeah, my health's low. Come on, come on. I don't really care if I lose that much HP. All right. Finally, there it is, the very funny-faced Cutlass Fish, the Living Sword! The gods be praised! Does that mean I get praised? Because I want to get a better perk. Great conversation! So, this is the Living Sword, that is what I've been pursuing all this time. I don't take it so hard. I mean, it was one big cutlass fish, and a cutlass is kind of is the king kind of sword, right? Plus, what are the odds of catching an, an ocean fish in this lake? Spare me such solas! What are you complaining about? Monk would never go back to his word. I shall make the jigsaw bridge passable at once. So his action of making the bridge passable was sitting his fat ass down on the ground. Yeah. Either way. And of course, I showed this in the last episode, but Isun's like, hey, look, over there, that is where the mist is swirling from. It's swirling from the Imperial Palace. And you know how I just mentioned Waka in that Star Mythology? This pretty much proves it. Well, well, look at what the cat dragged in. What took you so long, Machari? Yep, it's Waka. We're not gonna forget what you did to us back at Oroji's cave, and why do you keep popping up wherever you are? What are you up to this time? He's stalking. Excuse me, Maw, but I have no time to follow you around. You see, I'm busy looking for something profit you are. Shouldn't you already know where to look? Well, maybe look isn't the right word. I just, I know where it is. It's just getting there is a part, gonna be a bit of a problem. Yeah, sure, Waka, sure, you know where it is. Capcom still hasn't figured out a way to bake you yet. Sandy soon's accusing him of wanting to conquer the world. Not bad, my little bouncing friend. You're only half wrong. I seek the other world. I, des I desire a path to the heavens. Stop beating around the bush. What do you mean stop beating around the bush? This is Waka, that's what he does. This path concerns you too, Machidi. Talk to him again. The city's in quite a bad state. No, I didn't notice! Fungi Mist is your so-called path to the heavens. You're in cahoots with Queen Himiko. Journey a thousand miles begins with a single step, so just take a step by step. You must first deal with this mist. Slowly but surely killing the people of this city. Wait too long, and it's au revoir. The damage will already be done. You're behind it all, even if I was behind it all. What good would come out of arguing about it here? Methinks. I love that word, methinks. Alright, and his prophecy for us this time is go through the hole in the wall, little ones! That could be 
perceived as fruity. Even though a solid defense has a tiny gap like the eye of a needle or something like that. Now, going over here, this is the home of Priestess Rao, who is also a character from mythology, but I don't want to get into her story for quite a while because it's spoilers for what happens much later in the game. And all these city dwellers are saying that Rao is so great and they want to go see her. So we're going to go here, and this is going to spawn, well not really spawn them, but begin one of my favorite Isun scenes in the game. Well, who would have thought there'd be a wolf in all places? The world is in turmoil. Have you come to listen to my sermons? Alright. I love Rao's theme music. It's very fitting. I am the regent of Seon City, appointed by Queen Himiko herself. And Isun's first reaction to her is... So what's troubling you? Holy cow! This sister's stacked! <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, you got a cute little fairy with you. The name's Isun, and by the way, it only looks like I'm staring at your melons. <laughs> melons? <laughs> ah, never mind. <laughs> anyway, so you're running things around here. Alright, there's talk of a water dragon or something off the shore. Queen Himiko is holding up in her palace. The city, the people are dropping like flies. So how could you be so lazy? You've sensed the evil forces over Ryoshima too, then? Heard the dreaded Orochi was resurrected in Shinshu Field. The brave swordsman vanquished him again. Ripples of those waves are, of chaos are reaching Ryoshima too. And they're affecting the water dragon, apparently, in the last few days the situation intensified. I don't know what's happening to our peaceful Nippon. And we talked to her again. She basically is saying, well, Isun's saying, the slayer of the dreaded Orochi is the great Amaterasu, but she doesn't believe us and thinks it's Susano. And now we have to show her our divine powers to prove it, because Isun thinks that she is so hot, I'm going to make her even hotter! Ha <laughs> ha! I just had to. <laughs> that is the Celestial Brush's power. And... She is saying that this wolf can help her in her quest. Your quest? What more could you want? You're already stacked to the ceiling! <laughs> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Oh, great, Isun. Now that I lost my prayer, prayer slips, the situation is completely helpless. So she wants her prayer slips. Uh, and here we got some treasure chests for her, <laughs> and you can get a holy, uh, exorcism slip. Um, I don't know why it's a holy bone. Uh, and there is land of the gods. Let's go ahead and read that. Maybe that'll explain more about what Waka was talking about. It is said that a holy realm called the Celestial Plain is situated in the heavens above Nippon, where we mere mortals dwell. The legend is ancient, and no one today knows of it or knows of or speaks of it. However, I have been entrusted with the knowledge of this sacred place. One day, I was visited by a man who wove me a strange tale. He said unto me, the celestial plane has met its end. He related the horrors of this destruction to me at great length. His talk was unbelievable, but the eyes showed no reason to doubt. I wish I had the fortitude to recount this horrowing tale here. I'm afraid the brush cannot bear the heavy burden of that sad fate. It seems that the celestial plane was destroyed long, long ago and the god's spirits, rendered homeless, still inhabit the earth. I try not to think such thoughts when I gaze up in the sky. So the celestial plane, land of the celestial, seems to have already met its end. And now we're done here. Uh, she said that she wanted to find her prayer slips, and without them, the situation is hopeless. So, guess what we gotta do? We gotta go find them. Alright, so over here, though, first things first, we have Komuso here. I have no idea why he is a noble or an aristocrat. He is going to give us some enemies here to fight. We have to defeat these enemies in 30 seconds. He will only be here if you've already defeated the monsters he wanted you to defeat over in uh, Kamiki Village and Kusa Village. So you have to do that first if you want to fight him here, or if you want to fight these monsters here. Like I said, you have to do this within 30 seconds or else it will not count. Do it. I don't know if I did or not. It's gonna be kind of close. There we go. Okay, let's see here. Come on. I don't even care about any floor finishers. Come on, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Alright, I got I did well on time. Come on. And once we've done this, humans are can't see the fight went on. 22 seconds! That's the 29 for a second. Alright. And as our reward, he gives us. A stray bead! If you're having trouble with that fight, by the way, those enemies are very weak to having a sub-reflector counter used on them, so just equip a reflector as a sub-weapon and hit the Z button if you're having trouble. Uh, that's just something I can offer. And then, also... I always thought that these rocks looked like you were flipping somebody off. I don't know, that's just what I always thought. 
we go over here, right off the bat, there is yet another Stray Bead. So we already got two, two more percent toward completion. All right, but where we wanna go is, you can see the mist is swirling out of the Emperor's Palace. The Emperor's Castle. Hopefully <laughs> someone will get that reference. They probably will. So, over here, these guards will not let us through, but that's not what we care about. I said that's not what we care about! Psst! Can you hear me? What, it's supposed to be on duty? Wait, you can't talk even though you're on duty. I just wanted to ask you, like, what's your opinion of His Highness? Surely you're not doubting the worthy of His Honorable yeah. Earth of His Honorable Earth. Alright, so he's taking his bed to a strange illness. Something about a strange illness bothers me. That swirling mist is a little out of the ordinary. No! Alright, started from the Emperor's room, and then before he knew it, taken over the whole city. So the Emperor is the root of all this. It's definitely ought to grant you that, but I'm not trying to see how it feels. I just hope I won't even see a doctor. So, what about that girl we locked up in the cell alone? She shouldn't be locked up like that. She's done nothing wrong. I mean, that girl Kag Kaguya, right? Well, Mr. Bamboo asked us if we knew a Kaguya earlier, so maybe we'll have to investigate this a bit more when we get the chance. But either way, what we want here is these aroused prayer slips. So they each have spells on them. So we should just pick them up and take them right back over to Rao. And here we go. What have you? My prayer slips, you found them in this huge city? They weren't that hard to find. I mean, there wasn't really anywhere else we could have gone past there though because the guards kick us out of just about everywhere else and everywhere else in the curse So we're the answer to your her prayers. Say so you're our only hope. Isun, stop trying to weasel your way into this. So she is saying, because the forces of darkness, Monsters are out there, while well, they're nothing, they spread all the way over the Shima coast, and with Queen Himiko confused, or confined in her palace, I don't know why I'm confused, she'd use her holy powers to dispel any threat in the city, but this foe is too strong for her to do, so we have to help her. And so she's gonna be joining us. So the Queen is, some who think the Queen is a coward shut away, but she cares for her subject and is praying for their protection. Yeah, it looks like Prang's doing a whole lot for this city that's in turmoil, so we're probably gonna need to help her out, considering that we're going to have to answer their prayers. So, I'm not interested. All right. Let's hear what the stacked pay best to say. <laughs> stacked, anyway. So, she is saying that there was a ship that was a trading vessel that was supposed to bring a holy item to Queen Himiko, but the water dragon attacked it and sunk, which is the sunken ship that we saw before. The fox rods are what she needs to find to hopefully... It would have been Nippon's greatest asset. 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 So, we have to go to that treasure ship and go find the fox rods on board that ship. So we have to go help her get those. Help Rao search for treasure? Sure. Bummer, the boss has spoken. Huh? What's that on me? Oh god, he suit. He seems all happy. Well, until the new moon rises in the night sky, we cannot go to the lunar lagoon where it, sh where it sank. So we have to meet her at the next night over at Ryoshima Coast. She seems really eager to help her. Come on. He soon. So anyway, now that we have found out what we do, by the way, these people are standing in a different order just about every time you go here and they say everything about how Rao has helped their lives. Yeah, take that with what you will. But either way, now that we have met Rao, gotten her her prayer slips, and have agreed to help her, I think we're gonna end things off here. Next time on Okami, we are going to be heading back to Ryoshima Coast, where we're gonna be going to the sunken ship so that we may help Rao search for the fox rods, okay? See you guys then.